Hey there, either Holder Fire Family, welcome to another Narjan Reacts. In this, we're reacting to The Dragon Prince Season 3, Episode 6. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. Thunderfall. Thunderfall. Are we gonna get. The only thing I can think of is like Thunder Dragons, maybe. The Queen? Can't see it being Zim. Wow, you guys have a lot of souls. Wait, no, that's a multiple. Never mind. That's not just Catalus. That's the different kingdoms. I was about to say, man, Catalus has a lot of soldiers. <laughs> I mean, I mean, they did kiss, so it is the ship is sailing, so it makes sense they both sleep together like this. But it's cute. It's cute. Eee, I love seeing. A, I love seeing a ship that I support <laughs> actually set sail. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Sam looks like it's all protective. What was that little like it was like a little bark hiss sound? Stop. <laughs> Sam getting all protective. That's literally us Raylum shippers. <laughs> Over anyone that's like disturbing their moments. Oh, a little spark bug. Spark. So what do we do from here? Well, <laughs> Zim, he did a little like, hmm. So, what do we do from ah, here? Ah, Zim, well, he's a little, little cutie. They call it the Storm Spire. Storm Spire? Makes sense. Pierces the clouds. You can't miss it. I mean, it makes sense that a, uh, you know, lightning electricity dragon would have a uh, Callum. You could have gotten off a lot easier from the sides, but said you decided to slide down the front. So, uh, again, thanks for not killing me, you know, for conning no you problem. and then betraying you, stealing a dragon and leaving you stranded in the desert. To die. <laughs> Her smile! I do like Nyx. I'm glad she's not a bad... Like, she hasn't turned out to be an antagonist or, like, a, a villain or anything like that, because I do like her personality. No. Even the freaking the, the lion creature is looking at her like, really? <laughs> Rayla, they're, they're, <laughs> everyone's glaring at Nyx. You know, what'd be funny is if her uh, her tall giraffe deer thing also gives her a look like I don't think so. I suppose that's fair. Uh huh. A word of yeah. advice: the air can get pretty thin up there. What was with the wink? What was the wink for with the air couldn't get thin up there? I can't see it being about Rayla and Callum. Like, huh? Guess we're even now. <laughs> Zim's not having it. Bye. Hi, Nyx. You were. Eh, eh, I like your character. Hope we see you again. I'm sure we'll see you again. <laughs> I love Fifi. 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 I, I'm loving too many of these creatures. Like a lot of these creatures, I'm just like, I love their designs, I love their sound design, I love I, I, everything. <laughs> How are you tired? Bait, you've been sitting the whole time. Then again, Bait is literally like a dog or like a pug mixed with a cat kind of creature. He just wants to sleep all the time. Of course, Soren would focus on Erebus. <laughs> I hope he goes up and just flicks. That'd be hilarious. Just flicks him off and goes, sorry, dad. I thought there, there was a bug on your ear. Please do it. Please do it. Please do it. Oh. What? You don't want... Why do I feel like Erevos warned him? Want me to... Or Erevos. I need to hear his name again. Smoosh that thing? Smoosh. Do not smoosh the purple creature. Think of it as my animal familiar. So you're saying... Uh -huh. You've adopted a little bug pal? Oh, yes, Soren. He is my little bug pal. <laughs> Am I your little bug pal? You know, which one was it? Which one of you went and made the comment? I think it was Rayla. Ray I know there was a comment that's, that's name is Rayla too. I believe it was you. You're the one that said that when I was talking about like ships and stuff, I'm like, the only ones I can think of are like Rayla and Callum, um, like 
uh, Amaya and oh my god, what is her name? Janai, Janai? I forgot her name, but the other uh, uh the the Sunfire Sunblade Sunfire Elf, and then you're like, what? Not Viren? What about Viren and Erevals? And I'm just like, nah, no. <laughs> I mean, I doubt it, but it just kind of reminds me of that kind of, like, flirtatious name. Not from Viren, but kind of Erevos a little bit. It's that playful teasing. While we travel, oh, you're on your own freaking horse? There's something I no, what? You know, I forgot that Erevos is in this, like, spiritual astral projection, like, form. So, of course, he'd be able to warn Viren that Soren was about to, like, squish him. Avisandum was no person. Avisandum was an arch dragon, the great king of all the dragons we're actually having a full conversation with these two i am mine i, I love erevos's or i'm just gonna say arrow this time you know at this point i'm because i don't want to say his name wrong but I, I love his voice the most powerful creature in the world yet somehow he was the most powerful in the world i thought he was just one of the strong like arc dragons but not the most powerful Magic creature in the world. Yeah, how did Viren kill him? Hmm, what deal did he make? You brought him down. Yeah. So Avizandum was his true name. We called him Thunder. Thunder. Ah. Oh, okay. And this is Zim's papa. To avenge her. Uh huh. Oh, more hero! Yay. Twenty. Ready or not, here I come. Wait, are where you? Where could that clever little glow toad be hiding? <laughs> wow. Hmm. Wait, it's not back here. I think I hear him. I'm really, I'm glad we're seeing like, or we've seen, gotten to see more of this side of Harrow, because in the first few, like, I would say, I don't know, maybe through half of season one, like he just came across as this very like cold not cold but not as like fatherly or like as not humble what is the word <sighs> kind i guess is the word uh ruler and stuff but through like the flashbacks and stuff we're seeing more of that side like we've seen that side to him and i'm enjoying that <laughs> it makes it worse that he's if he's gone i'm still like you know i don't fully trust that he may be fully gone i'm sure he is but like i feel like something could be pulled where it's like oh yeah we i actually did switch his souls or something like, you never know so like, i'm part of me is hoping that's the case because like through these flashbacks and stuff this made me like hero more in which he was alive and stuff so yeah i smell him i smell him I sense his grumpiness <laughs> he's messing with bait. I feel like he's he's like trying to get bait upset enough that bait's gonna reveal himself. It's cloak. High Mage Viren and I are going to talk. Okay, Dad. Come on, bait. I love how he says come on, bait, like bait was following after him when he's literally just carrying bait. <laughs> oh, is this when you guys were playing on My King, an unusual opportunity has presented itself. Oh, are we gonna wait? Are Thunderfall? Are we gonna get to see how they sl slayed, slain, slayed, slayed, slayed <laughs> Thunder? We can avenge. We can create the ultimate weapon of vengeance. Ultimate weapon of vengeance is a dual-edged sword. You just are gonna end up cutting yourself in the end. Like literally, Thunder was protecting his land. That's the reason why he went after you guys. And then now you guys are wanting vengeance for him, wanting vengeance for what you like. It's just back and forth. It just keeps, it's an endless cycle until someone just says enough. <laughs> I captured something that I hoped we could use later. Capture? Her breath? However, it requires something impossibly rare. The horn of a unicorn. I searched for years and There's I There's unicorns? Failed. But a few days ago, my daughter Claudia succeeded where I could not. She captured a unicorn and brought me its horn. So Claudia actually killed a unicorn. I feel like we're entering like Harry Potter territory where it's kind of like that where, except in Harry Potter, it was you, when you drink the blood from something so innocent, so pure, you become tainted. So I wonder if Claudia got tainted for killing. Because I'm pretty sure she didn't just dehorn the unicorn and that was it and let it go. I mean, maybe she did, but 
if she killed a unicorn, I feel like that's a real big no no. Viren, what have you done? Tell me you don't. What do you think? He just said he, it's a horn from a unicorn. When he says, what did you do? He just said what Claudia did. I don't want justice. The unicorn's pure horn. There's one last component. I, I just want the unicorn a whole. The undying hatred of one who loved the victim. Your blood. Arrow's gonna Burns say no, right? Anger. Oh, his eye twitched. Avenger, Is he gonna smack it out of his hand? No, he's gonna say no. She didn't get to see the princes grow up. She should have. Uh, but it wasn't like Thunder went after you guys like pers like out of nowhere. You guys literally went on his land. <laughs> I mean, obviously, either he goes through, either he goes through with this. No, they've got to go through this because I I remember when Harrow, like later on, when Viren wanted to do the attack on I think Azadia, and that's when Harrow said, "No, we're paying for what we've done." So I'm, yeah, he definitely goes through with this. Yeah, this is where Vengeance takes over, and then later on, he's like, "No." Oh. oh, time to you guys to translate the backwards spell for me, please. <laughs> I wonder, is it that they use the horn to stab Thunder in the heart or something? Oh, it melts the spear. And then they probably stab Thunder with it. Okay. Yeah. I think you need a butterfly. I will. He's up. Hey I gotta make I'm buds sorry. with. I don't think I caught your name. Kasif. Kasif. Prince Kasif. You're from that one kingdom. You know the. You know the one I'm talking. One of the foreign ones. <laughs> about uh uh the the Noodleudlia. Noodle Udlia. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that sounds like it could be a name of a town. <laughs> like somewhere, uh, I don't know, in some anime or something. <laughs> Case of space, just like. Uh. Neolandia. The way he just enunciated that. Neo, not just enunciating it, but even with the hand gesture. <laughs> It's not. Oh my god, those remind me of. Uh, there was some other, I think, movie or something where somebody went like enunciation like that, and it was just. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, that's exactly what I just said. Noodleudlia. <laughs> I I love Saren. Saren. <laughs> I love Soren, but it's stuff like this where I'm just like. You're a special boy. <laughs> you're, 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 you're a dog, but we love you. <laughs> Queso, yeah. Queso does not have patience for that. Fifi, you did it. You got us here. Uh, I think Fifi's about ready to crash. Fifi? What's wrong? She tired. She tired, tired. Oh, of course they, they land where the door burrs are. Are they gonna... Wait, I wonder, are they gonna run into, um... I blanked on his name, but, uh... Rayla's pseudo-parents. Poor Fifi. Ooh. You need to go home so you can rest and get better. I know... Porting. <laughs> <laughs> she wanted to get them as far as possible. Or she probably was sick and then she just kept going. They're so cute. I want plushies of all these creatures, I swear to freaking. <laughs> she says she has to see this through. She has to see this through. Don't you make Fifi die. <laughs> Don't you make her! <laughs> Hi, Adorbers. Bye, Adorbers. <laughs> Uh, sort. Your brother. It's interesting. Soren. He's a bit 
special? Quirky. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> People usually say I'm the quirky one. Hmm? <laughs> she, she did not just wait for him to not be looking to pull the freaking face. <laughs> no, <laughs> Claudia! I love her. <laughs> okay, so it's like these two are the children of Viren. Okay, that's <laughs> so different from Viren. And is he talking to himself? Oh, <laughs> it's just the whole family of weirdos. What? No, of course you he's just talking to his caterpillar bug friend. <laughs> this case is gonna <laughs> start to really doubt following him. <laughs> oh. Yeah. The great confrontation. The way freaking he's Eros is sitting there. Wait, did you two just go on your own? Oh, so it's just you two and you two. Always guarded this. If he's not protecting the border, he's going for Catullus. <laughs> it's because he's protecting something more important. <laughs> The egg, Zim. Oh, this is when they take the egg. Okay. All right. Oh, so we're gonna get to see this. Okay. I'm interested. I mean, I've been wondering how this how this went down. Maybe we'll get to see the queen. I won't mind that. I want to see her design. The layer of the dragon king and queen. So you guys went to their actual lair. Yeah, big boy. To think that this is what Zim becomes. We, today of all days, I will spare you. So he does talk. Interesting. Okay, I was about to ask before he did. I was gonna be like, is like, is he choosing not to speak? Because I know Ragum spoke, but is Ragum like a higher one than even? But if Thunder is considered the most powerful, then he had to have been able to speak. So, okay, good to know he does. No. So you're more... No. I'm not gonna lie, you guys are brave, two of you going up against Thunder. Oh. Oh, you're strong enough to hold Thunder? At least for... Wow. Viren's... Ooh, oh, okay. I was about to say, Varen's strong if he was able to hold him. Is it darkening him? Oh. Poor Thunder. Aw, he cried. It's the father trying to protect his We've done it. mate and child. It's Just over. like, yeah. Except the difference was, again, Thunder was protecting his land when they went out. Ugh. Don't you see? If that egg hatches, all of us will be in terrible danger. Oh, you baby assume. dragon? His destiny will be the destruction of humanity. And what did I say? And it's a never-ending revolving door when it comes to this. Because if they had left Zim... Zim would have wanted vengeance for his father's death. So it just would have been a never ending cycle. Then Zim would have attacked the humans. Then the humans would have gone after Zim. And then what are, if, Zim, if Zim had any children, then they would. It's a thing. Yeah. And then it will truly, finally be over. But you wanted Zim first, the it's power first. So okay. There is no other way. It's horrific. What? You just killed the. You just. It's both horrific. I mean, granted, you're going to kill a child, but. No wonder Harold later on said that we've reaped what we've pretty much sown. But you saved the egg. Why? Because you wanted the powers for yourself? So if... This makes me wonder, since Thunder, like, turned into a statue, does this mean he's still going to be there when Rayla and them arrive? That's going to be sad if Zim sees his dad. But it makes me wonder, can Thunder be brought back to life if he's just a statue? Like, I, I know that, like... Technically, you should be just dead because your organs and everything are just shut down and, you know, no brain function or anything. But if he's just, like, frozen and plays, like, Medusa style or something like that, I wonder if something would bring him out of, like, petrification. Uh, what I say? What I say? You know, I'm just like, I hate that I'm right. I don't want to see this. It 
It's not a statue. Hey, it's okay, little guy. You're safe. You're safe. We're here with you. That sounds Beepy? like... Beepy! Reuniting! Beefy? Reunited and it feels so good. Arrogant monster. It sounds like you have a history with that. Arrogant monster. Why do I feel like because of what Eros wants to do? Thunder did not agree and like... Because isn't... Eros trapped somewhere, and that's why. I wonder if Thunder put him there, like as in a prison or something. Then of course he's not gonna like Thunder. Oh, I do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He is the reason I am where I am. Ah. Oh. And uh -huh. where is that? These past few centuries. Varen, I swear, if you don't ask why and just go with this. Elf's plans without even questioning things. Uh, uh. Viren, I have some You're dumber than you. I thought you were. Impassable is just another uh. kind of passable. Oh. Yes. That's the freaking way Erebo said that. Yes. <laughs> I, he just sounds so conniving and like, I love his voice, but God. Yes? Hi, Ezrin. Oh, Zim's gonna be ecstatic. Yep. <laughs> The hug. What are you doing here? Let's just say that being king isn't all it's cracked up to be. Yeah. Hey, are you hurt? Well, let me look at you. <laughs> I'm fine, Callum. I'm safe now. Is Fifi okay? Fifi? <laughs> Bruh! I was kidding! I didn't <laughs> Don't make me cry! No! <laughs> Okay, hold up. <laughs> Maybe don't cry yet. Maybe don't cry yet. There's hope. She's a phoenix, right? She's a moon phoenix, so surely she could just come back to life, right? Right? <laughs> I'm gonna hope for that because <laughs> Yeah, yeah, Phoenix. Do your Phoenix thing. Rise from the ashes, good girl. Come on. Just you know what? I'm fine if you just go to the you're gonna turn into an egg? A feather. Okay. Are you gonna stay with. Yeah, pile of ashes. That's a phoenix thing. Oh, come on. She is going to be okay. She's a moon phoenix. When the time is right, she'll be reborn. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, you guys said it. To <laughs> it took me a while. I'm like, wait a minute. Oh, yeah, she's a phoenix. They don't die. <laughs> Thank goodness. Okay. <laughs> I literally was gonna cry. Uh. Are you parting the lava like the? Oh my god! This is. There's no way this is not a reference to like. Uh. Oh my god! What was the movie? Um. Mm, was it Joseph King of Thieves? No. Um. Oh my god! What was the DreamWorks movie? I'm blinking on it now. Uh, Prince of Egypt. This this shot. The way this is shot and it looks looks almost identical. Actually, you know what? Hold up. I gotta look this. This is what time I'm gonna do this. But I swear. I swear. More. It was more of a zoom out shot, I think, when they show it. No, not this one. I swear there's like a back shot of him. Yeah, like this. That. This looks a lot like. I mean, similar. I mean, I guess there's only so many ways you could shoot that kind of shot, but I feel like this could be a reference. Like, literally, it's Viren, instead of parting the Red Sea, well, I mean, it is a Red Sea. It's lava. It's red. So, <laughs> I mean, to, I would love it if that's, like, literally a reference to that. That'd be cool. Yeah, I got the weight. No, the, yeah, this is so a reference. The. I love that, though. Of course you're saying they're arrows. 
What are you bowing for? You didn't do a squat. Why do I feel like he's looking more and more cracked as time goes on? How is this season gonna end? Are there gonna be more, or is it gonna be? Mm. Because what? Zim doesn't have a father now. Because that was Zim's dad. I feel so sorry that this all happened. Me too, Callum. You're not responsible though. But look at them, playing together. That's the miracle. That's hope. That's the future. They're the ones that are gonna break the cycle. I mean, you two as well. You two as well. You two are part of that cycle as well. We're gonna wait till next. Of course, we're gonna wait till next episode to see. <laughs> ah, of course, the kisses, the spear, falling over chest piece of thunder, Fifi's feather. Oh, I'm so glad Fifi's a phoenix. <laughs> I'm betting that's why Fifi didn't really mind doing that because she knew she'd come back anyway. So even if she died, at least she got uh, Ezra in there. And even though she would die, she would just come back. Nice heroic sh pose shot of our of our squad. Of course, it'd be Soren in case of <laughs> the two bros. Even though <laughs> the one can't stand the other. All right. Well, uh, let me go ahead and get in my thoughts then. Okay, so, my first episode. Overall, I like that one. We got to see the backstory on how Thunder got killed. Um, but we still have not gotten to see how, like, Viren taking the egg and stuff like that. So it's interesting the Queen was away when they killed Thunder. I mean, it makes sense. I feel like if, if the Queen hadn't been away, she would have come down and attacked them after... Because I'm pretty sure Thunder made enough noise that she would have heard it if she was there. Um, but yeah, that was that was uh, interesting. That Thunder is definitely the more was more benevolent. I think is the word where he was like, you know, on this day of life, I will spare you for trespassing, but don't push me. Kind of thing. You compare that to like Regum. Regum seems more like the egotistic dragon that Erevos is like making Thunder out to have been. Um, but of course, like I thought, Eric was saying, oh, he's an egotistic dragon and stuff, and it's, and it's like, oh, well, why, you know, it seems like you two have a beef with each other. Oh, well, he imprisoned me. Yeah, why? Why did, why would Thunder imprison an elf, a Star Touch elf? Like, why? You must have either had some bad plans or something that he felt to imprison you. And to even not tell you where you are for you not to know where you're in prison, so nobody else, you couldn't tell anyone where you are. Mm, I yeah I don't trust him. the way he just sounds like anytime he hit like that dra the dragon horn. Regum may have had an ego and like he's now like bitter and stuff over humans. Um, but at least he was protective of like magical creatures of Azadia, excuse me and stuff, and everything. So it's not like he went like, oh you know I don't care about anything else but me. Um, whereas you look at um, Erevos like. Him seeing the horn from the dragon, he was just like, yes. Like, he seems crazy, like, hung uh, power hungry as well. Just like, well, Viren, I wouldn't say is power hungry. It's that he, I mean, maybe his dark magic side wants power, but him himself, it's he, it's like the dark side of him twists his goal of wanting to do what he feels is right, what he thinks is right, and what's best for humanity, and the dark side just twists that even more and, like, justifies it and makes, like, twist. I don't know what's going on in his head and stuff, but, um, considering the glimpse we saw of what, uh, of, with Callum, with the dark side, if that's what's going on in his head, and now he's also got Erevos whispering into his ear, literally, and talking to him, mm, yeah, uh, <laughs> it's gonna get interesting. Um, yeah, uh, Bob's episode was great, characters were great, uh, animation was good. Actually, I would say animation was, because the style, the thing is with this animation style for the series, I kind of wish it was like, it's like a 2D, 3D mixture, and while it's not bad, it's like good, but it's not like great. I would have preferred it to either be full on like 3D, I guess, special style, or 2D. So it's like a mix of both. So for me, it's just like good. The only way I could say is like so there's some scenes where it like it stands out more, um, and that would be more like I guess the fight scenes or, um, 
I was I would say honestly the thing that impresses me most animation wise for this series is the backgrounds. A lot of the backgrounds are beautiful. Like they could be literally just uh, paintings, and like that's what they look like. They look like paintings. So I think that's what I would say is the most beautiful in this series or the backgrounds. Like I do love I do like the animation, but not as much as it was just pure 2D and maybe like free, pure 3D kind of thing. Um, but still good animation. Uh, so I'll always probably just call it good animation. <laughs> But it's no, the backgrounds I love, uh, and the animation is just good. Um, but yeah, the music was good as well. Uh, yeah, uh, those are my thoughts for this episode. I hope you enjoy this reaction. Have a wonderful morning, afternoon, night, and keep burning bright. See ya!